So unfortunately, I didn't actually turn on my recording for the first four minutes of the chase with uh, the freaking robot lady. Uh, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to go back and potentially redo the entire Mars mission. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get that footage. <laughs> Because I hadn't say I hadn't like manually saved anything, which you'd think I'd learn after the whole I accidentally misspoke to Caden and was like I haven't changed the way I feel about you. Uh, you'd think I would just start saving like every five minutes, but I didn't. Anyway, uh, luckily I noticed pretty quickly, and it actually I tried to restart. Like I tried to go back into Mass Effect Three and was hoping the auto save would have been during the chase. Uh, however, it puts me out at the start of the cutscene that I finally noticed, I was like, oh shoot, I'm not recording. And so, uh, we're gonna hop right back into that. Hopefully I don't have to replay too much, or if I, oh my gosh, it would be, oh my gosh, I wonder if I'll even, oh my gosh, I'm just trying to think about it, like, like that's a pretty important plot point, you can't miss that, so hopefully I can go back and get that footage, and it doesn't take too long, but I hate everything right now, so let's, Let's get back into it. I can't just like not have the first four minutes of the video. You guys don't have context for the next thing that's about to happen. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's like a, it's a curse being freaking, um, freaking haunted by my Mass Effect 3 first series technical issues. Ooh, let's see, hang on. Load game. Ah. Uh... So it looks like there's actually no way for me to um, go back. This is all I have. This is where we're going next. Um, and this is the only autosave I have for the Mars Prothean archives. This is insane. This is actually insane. Um, I am so sorry. <laughs> so what happens is I left you guys off, right, at the beginning. Um, I left you off right as the chase was going to start, right, with the with the doctor, with the evil woman. And so we chase her, blah, 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 you just chase her, she's getting away, she's got the data, we're trying to get her, um, and uh, we end up catching up to her, right, and, but what we don't is she, she actually hops into a shuttle, this is so, I'm so sorry, you can't see this right now, but he's just, she hops into a shuttle, a server shuttle, and we're like, no, I'm like, because Shepard had radioed in, trying to be like, Normandy, James, like, somebody come get her, like, like, come give us backup, give us air support, you know, and we didn't think anybody could hear us, but James heard us, and so he comes hurtling in, hammer, every problem is a nail, and he is a hammer, is what I said, he comes hurtling in, with the shuttle and just sideswipe, just T-bones the other shuttle and just crashes it on the ground in front of us and we're like, you know, it hits the ground and miraculously our shuttle's fine but their shuttle's in pieces and on fire, you know? And so uh, I walk up to James and I'm talking to him and and then, like, I'm saying something and Caden's helping Liara because Liara's slightly more injured so he's trying to help her get, oh, get into the shuttle because they're on the other side of it. And... Uh, he's, she's like, we need the data, you know, and uh, I'm like, the data needs us, because you can hear noises in the shuttle, and out pops this robot lady who is currently running at us, and you'll see her when I get back into the game, uh, that's the doctor, she's essentially a giant robot, she's a humanoid robot, and, um, she grabs, because Caden, like, pushes Liara away, grabs his gun, is trying to shoot her, and she's like, titanium, so you can't, like, shoot her, and, uh, she picks him up with one hand, uh, and of course he's just kicking ineffectually, like nah, like just dangling there instead of kicking her or doing something. I mean, to be fair, she is made of metal, but like, and Shepard's like, put him down! And like has her gun out and is like pointing it and she's like, orders! And like the Cerberus, or the elusive man, tells her to, to, sp to dispose of him. And so she slams his head, who's, which is helmeted by the way, she slams his helmeted head into the shuttle a couple times and then drops him and Shepard's like, no! And I'm like, you have a gun in your hands, woman! Like, what are you doing? You know? Uh, like, why don't you just shoot him or shoot her not him <laughs> and and then um that leads us to where we are now with this thing staring at us in the face somehow my bullets are enough to shoot her but Caden's weren't and it's like no grab that thing bring it with us shepherd and we can't stay, like, can't. Uh, 
like I think I was mentioning too that like you know even if like we're not lovers anymore there's still that like like the camaraderie and like friendship that we had means a lot right so Shepard's just like no and this is like happening and like she can't like it's one thing after the other Shepard can never stop in this game like Shepard almost never gets a break to breathe it's one thing after the other. Also, I want to note that she is carrying him again, like she did in Mass Effect 1, uh, because she's super strong. <laughs> and she's also got powered armor on. But, um, anyway, I'm very upset. I'm so glad I caught it early enough, but I need to save every five minutes now. I love that he just... Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. She's a, Shepard's having a no. hard time. Like the Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Like this is one of her oldest Roger friends, Caden. you know? If nothing else. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QE. I, believe it's Admiral Hackett. I know we don't have a doctor right now, but surely Liara could help him a little bit. Also, we're in like a medicate or like 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 a, what is it? An automated medical suite. Surely we could stick him in something like there. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. There's so many cuttings to start too. It, I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try. You could have told me. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope that's capable of unquantifiable levels of I definitely get Death Star vibes from this, you know? Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping which, the Which reapers. isn't a great... I hope so. Not a great vibe to have. Caden's been hurt. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they Second time she's asked that... Do whatever it takes to get them on Second board. time she's gotten that response. Like, they're giving her an impossible task. And they're like, she can do it. And it's like, that has to be crushing at this point, especially after all this time she spent trying to warn people. Commander, Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Caden? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. We need to upgrade our armor. What we need to do. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. Look at that. Like, she has, she's like, rolls her neck, like, woman I've looked at the data. can't this stop. This weapon could be the answer if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. Yeah, I think we're having, we're having a hard time. Like, this is, and also, like, with Caden being injured and, like, you know, having these, like, it's sort of complicated with him and, like, we haven't really had a chance to, like, hash things out properly and, like, you still care about him. You know, like, even though she's moved on and she's, like, loves somebody else, like, there's still, you still care about him. And, like, I don't know. He does, he did this last time, too, where, like, she had to bail him out, but she couldn't bail him out this time. This time he bailed the R out and took the hit himself, you know? And it's just one thing on top of the other, you know? You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventional. And a giant weapon isn't conventional? That is so conventional, it's like textbook conventional. Like, Commander. you know what I mean? Look at that. Look at her face. Look at her face. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden. This is, she, look at that. I Make sure we're ready to present love that. findings to the council. I love that very much. I'm sure the council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they This don't. whole time she's been like the stalwart, but like she's a person. She's a human being. She has doubts. She has her own internal struggles, you know? And I love that they're expressing that, not just making her like a poster child. You know what I mean? 
Like, I like Shepard, obviously, in 1 and 2, but I really like the depth of character they give her in 3. Um, but yeah, there's so many cutscenes at the start of this game, so, like, it's hard for me to, like, I can't really, like, stop and save. So, I mean, I could have, but, like, I don't think about it, and then, like, cutscene happens, and then another one, and another one, and another one. At least I caught this pretty early. But... Oh boy, and here we go. We're gonna meet somebody else. Woo! I'm actually super stoked. We're about to, well, not we're about to, but soon at the Citadel is somebody that I am desperately happy to see. Not the council. Freaking suck. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the council. And she gets pulled in so many directions, you know? Like, she can't go with Caden. She has to do this. Even though she wants to be with her... Looks like they might be coming to see With you. her comrade, you know? Commander Shepard. Woo! Got word you were arriving. Bailey! <laughs> Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Just like me. Congratulations. <laughs> He's like, uh... uh thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the council? He's not the best, I feel like. I'm here to tell you the council political. is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon. He's not a person to escort right. dig dignitaries. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. We're at the same rank. The other half of my job. Technically. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. Uh, yes, map. Anyway, yeah, this is really rough because, like, yeah, Shepard's got, like, she's got, like, all this stuff weighing on her. Like, all these things that she has to do, but, like, in her personal stuff, like, that she wants to go to, like, she has to keep putting it aside. And, like, it's really devastating. It's really heartbreaking. It really <laughs> Do I want Diana Allers on my ship? I don't think I do. I think I'm just not going to talk to her. That woman freaks me out. No, I should look it up first. I should look it up. Finally, I was noticing I had no money. I was like down here in the bottom left. I was like, I was like, why don't I have any money? I had zero monies. There's my baby. I need to look at her for a second. Uh, calm down. It's a different setup this time. Every time they change the citadel. Okay, first deployment is somewhere near Palabin. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So how am I supposed to talk with you then? Yeah, uh, so we get to go around listening to people and this is another thing this game does a really good job at is like i mean the, the games have always done like really good like background ambiance noises and or like ambiance conversations and stuff like that that you can kind of stumble upon uh but uh, in this one they're exceptionally heartbreaking hello commander shepherd welcome to the citadel this is docking bay d24 thank you note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. Pew, 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 pew. Let's, okay, I'll ask. What's with the heightened security? What do you think about the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing at the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. They're spying on you. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. That's all. Please speak with me again. This isn't even a... Further it's not a Reaper thing as far as I know. They were just implementing heavier security measures. But you're on the north side. 
Normandy, right? I saw it dock. Was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? She did, didn't she? Why would she be here unless she's seeing the Council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard... Absolutely not. I'm gonna look it up really quick, but I do not want her on my ship. She's not as offensive as some, but she freaks me out. Her face is weird. <laughs> Oh, fine. She has enough war asset potential that I'll bring her. But it does irk me to have a reporter on board a stealth military ship, but I also get it that we're in a war and we have to do our own propaganda. Oh, but she's not annoying. She's actually just super bland. She's super bland and, like, just takes up a room. And I just don't like reporters. I just don't like them in this game. Also, as people have said before, it should have been Emily Wong. Or Cleesa bin al Janani. But I wouldn't let her on my ship with uh, anything, before anything. I would let Emily Wong run on my ship, though. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. Her face! I suppose you want an she interview. She looks like she's had plastic surgery. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? <laughs> Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? And to be fair, you can just kick her off the ship at any point in time. Um, but I also saw somebody brought up in the Reddit that uh, she's sort of the foil to Samantha, who's another person we'll pick up. So her and Samantha chat over the comm, and uh, Vega and um, Steve, it, they'll, they'll, they also kind of they talk to each other. Um, and they're the biggest newbies, I'm pretty sure, on the ship. So it's nice to have them, you know, somebody they can talk to, but... And she does give you a bit more insight into what's going on, the segments and stuff that she can run. Like she gives you a bit more insight on, like when you because you come come up and listen to her doing her segments, and uh, so it's interesting. And she does interviews with you, so I just she's just so boring. And her face, at least it's it's a little better in this one, but her face in the original Mass Effect Three was like that woman who's like, my face is tired in Mass Effect Your drama. And we're like, you're like your eyes and your mouth and something's just wrong with your face, <laughs> you know? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Don't mock me! She's not. Uh, no. She's, re she's relatively inoffensive. I just... Where do I want to go? I want to go to the, to the medical. Um, I want to go to medical, which is not the way I'm trying to go. Viewing deck. What? Hmm? What? Maybe I have to go through the security checkpoint first? Anyways, I vaguely recall several many things. Birds! They have real birds! Look at that! <laughs> the most roomscape looking birds you ever did see. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Take me to the hospital! I'll, uh, also, I'm pretty sure. Is he... Oh, he's not, he's not here. Is he here? He's not, he's not here. Is he not in this section? He should be here. He probably not yet. Probably not yet. According to the council, these galaxy wide attacks. Welcome to Serta. Metajoke Pesity, yes. Uh Peruvian whiskey, yes. I will be getting Chocolas back on the ship, and I need to bribe her with whiskey. Shopaholic, visit one store? These are stupid achievements. So the nurse tells me oh, no. to leave and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry, no. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. 
this is one of the most tragic side stories that I you have to hear in the game. Most of them are, but that one will haunt me always as we progress through. We re revisit. We can revisit these um, these sort of ambient dialogue places, and they will they will up update with new conversation like topic or new like progressing whatever the story they're telling, um, and it's just excruciating and sad and what was that <laughs> oh my gosh the citadel oh shoot chocolate is right here shepherd there you are dr chakwas you're here i'm working at an alliance r and d down in shelter wards coordinating closely with admiral hackett i heard you escaped earth in the normandy and that someone was critically injured I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How is he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. She does have a bit of an odd attachment to Joker. Um, but yeah. No, we bring Dr. Chakwas back. You can also bring Dr. Michelle uh, instead of Chakwas if you want. Uh, did you just have a spasm over there? Take a look at this place now. For now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. The narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. What is interesting is that over time, these this place changes as more and more places get hit by the reapers there's more and more people on the ground they don't have enough rooms you know so you'll see more and more people on the ground like laid out on stretchers you know he should be in a smock or something <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Don't die, King. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. That guy in the back's like, you need anything, Doc, let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. I'm sure he's used to it, honestly. People talking to unconscious patients. And that's an order. Like, Shepard cares very deeply for her friends. Like, even, like, relationship aside, like, previous intimate relationship aside, like, she cares very deeply for her friends. And, um, Caden's been kind of a constant you know, at least around, and, uh... Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you it's hard to lose soon. him, you know? Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Medigel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I, I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. 
It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Uh, yay! More conversations! We Let me just throw myself off a bridge. And we can go into this one, I think. Oh, this place is gonna haunt me. This place will haunt me very soon. I do wish we could get the the subtitles for the audio, but I know it would it would like overlap and stuff. But it just said the Batarian hegemony sounds like it's been destroyed. The Batarians are we'll we'll see later, but they were the hardest hit. They were on the outskirts, and uh, the relay that the Reapers came through was in their space. On the outskirts. And, um... Yeah. So they're moving very quickly, is Welcome what that essentially boils down to. Now Where is she? Dang nap reporter. Gonna punch her in the face. What? Who's that? See, this is why we have to take control of the airwaves. An unknown force. See, and they're like, they're not even saying Reapers here. I think that's actually a, like a bit of a plot point that comes up is they refuse to use the word reapers for now. Please tell the primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. And you get cutscene or rather uh, side missions from some of these. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, try to. You're Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. But I... He hasn't checked in for a while now. Unless... Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course. Ma'am, but the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go to one. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. <laughs> such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter. Uh, it becomes very obvious if it's not already obvious there that she's at, that woman has me memory issues and it's really freaking sad <laughs> there is no anti-humanity conspiracy oh, here boy. Ms. Angelani the council's simply not granting interviews at this time my viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Big. Sleeping bag. Yeah, go on. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Bye. Damn press. See, so you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. 
If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Counselor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lose your edge. You might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days... It's pretty damn close. Yeah, thanks for that, Bailey. Appreciate it. Uh, always nice to see you, pal. No, I like Bailey. Keeps things real. Uh, I don't think... Do I have access to this yet? Also, this might actually... Hang on. I need to learn from my mistakes. C create a freaking save file. That's a species I don't think we interact with. Yeah, oh, do, do I have access? Sweet, if restricted, uh-huh. The Corian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be preparing for conflict with the Get. You'd be freaking right. Look at all these things that I cannot afford. The Paladin. Oh, the armor. Look at that weenie little gun. <laughs> Interesting. Where's that? With a face shield, protect protect the shooter from headshots. Yeah, but the, the impact would slam it back into your face. Like getting a sniper headshot, you know, a sniper gun headshot to that would be to rip it off or slam it into your face. Interesting. The Black Widow, one of the best guns in the game. Oh, I don't even sniper. I think this this room uh, bugs you out. You can you're supposed to be able to go in here and uh, try different weapons, uh, but I'm pretty sure it makes your game crash. At least I think it used to, and it might still, despite it being a legendary edition. But what is oh this is Udina. We have conversation. I know at some point I have to come down here and like track somebody or something. They're like Citadel Quest still. I am going to call it here so that we have time to chat with Udina properly, who ends up taking the counselor, human counselor spot after Anderson was like, oh, if I can do more as a military man. So even if you made the choice to have Anderson as the council guy, they sort of undo that, but it doesn't really matter either way. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Thank you all so much for joining me, though. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. Actually, really quick, I want to say I'm very sorry for the beginning of the video again. Because <laughs> that's so frustrating. Oh, like, at least, I feel like in the last couple games, like, the auto, you had, like, two or three auto saves. And I just, I just, I was slacking on the, on the manual saves, honestly. I'm used to having more auto saves, I think, and, like, working off of those sometimes if I have to. But... Usually I'm better at, like, as soon as I get out of, a, like, the first cutscene of the game, I'll save the game, you know, or, like, at least at the end of every video, I'll try to save the game, but I think the last couple of videos, I kind of ended in the middle of something, and so it was, like, there wasn't really a chance to save, that's probably part of the problem, is there wasn't really a chance to save, because I kept, like, ending it at weird spots, <laughs> but, um, anyway, thank you all for putting up with that, like I said, uh, my Mass the original Mass Effect 3 VODs have to come back in some format, oh, excuse you, kitty, 
Uh, they have to come back in some form, form or fashion, and it's by uh, me apparently not clicking record and having just a little hiccup on the technical side, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully everything's fine after this, knock on wood. Um, but thank you all again for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galido, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who's the super bestest. I super appreciate your your support. And yeah, you're super great. Thank you so much. And once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.